Hello, I am Krishna Raghavendran and in this tutorial of MIT App Inventor, we are going to see how to create a Bluetooth connection using MIT App Inventor. So there are many purposes for Bluetooth connection. First of all, you can transfer text between two devices, like you can transfer text between two mobiles. You can also create chat app using Bluetooth and if you have something like Arduino, you can control the different components like LED, uh, the electrical components using Bluetooth connection. So you can control it from your mobile. So let me show you how this works. So I'm going to click on choose Bluetooth device. And then these are the devices which I have at the home. At the home. So there are two mobiles over here. I'm going to click on the second one, Galaxy M02. Now you can see that it shows status connected. Now using if you have connected this, as I told you before, you can transfer text or anything you want. So now I'm going to click on disconnect. And now you can see that the status is disconnected. So for this to work, make sure Bluetooth is, Bluetooth is switched on over here like this. Also make sure that the devices which you are trying to connect are paired to the device. If you are new to my channel, my channel is all about creating your own mobile apps free and easily using a tool called MIT App Inventor which is block based coding and easy. So if you want to create fantastic mobile apps, start now by clicking the red subscribe button and the bell icon. Now let's change the text of this label to be Bluetooth. Next I'm going to make the font of this label to be bold and let's, in let's increase the font size of this to be 30 like this. Next we need the title to be at the center of screen 1. So in the properties let's change align horizontal and align vertical. So make sure align vertical is top and align horizontal is center something like this. Next what we are going to do is we need to put a list picker so that they can pick which device they want to choose to connect to Bluetooth. So let me go over here and I'm going to change the text of this list picker to be choose Bluetooth device. So make sure you note that this is not a button and this is a list picker. We are using a list picker because we are going to pick from a list of devices which will be visible in the list picker so that we can connect the device to Bluetooth. Next I'm going to make the font to be bold like this. Now we are going to bring in a label where we will show the status whether it is connected or disconnected. So uh, the default will be disconnected when the start app is starting. So over here I'm going to put status and disconnected. I'm going to make it bold again like this. Next this time we are going to bring in a button and the text of this button is going to be disconnect. I'm going to make the font to be bold. So using this button the user can disconnect from the device. Now to connect to Bluetooth, we need a component for that. So let's go over here to the connectivity section and from here we are going to bring in the Bluetooth client component. So Bluetooth client component and over here what we will do is make sure these properties are the same like what you see over here. Now let's go to the block section. So first what we are going to do is let's go over here to the list picker and we are going to bring in this block when list picker one dot before picking. So before the user picks the device, first we need to show the device in a list. list. So we are, we are going to show it in the list picker. So to show it, let's go over here to the list picker and I'm going to bring, let's go, let's scroll down and you'll be able to see list picker one dot elements. So the elements of the list picker are going to be, let's go to the Bluetooth client and over here we are going to get the addresses. So we will get all the address of the devices. So just bring it over here. So as you can see, we are going to use Bluetooth client to get the addresses and names of the different devices which are available in Bluetooth. Next, after we do this, after the user picks something in the list picker, so let's go over here to the list picker and I'm going to bring in this block. When this picker one dot after picking, this means that the user has picked the device. Now what we need to do is we need to connect to the device. So let me go over here to the list picker again and over here now I'm going to bring in the selection block. Set list picker one dot selection two, and then over here we will connect it to the Bluetooth client. So you'll be able to see the connect block over here. Now the address is going to be whatever they selected in the list picker. So if they, so we will put the address using whatever they selected, which device they want. 
so let me go to the bluetooth client again and over here i'm going to get i'll go to list picker so that we can get the selection so list picker one dot selection next we need to check whether the connection is successful or not so for that let's go to control and we are going to bring in a if condition over here what i'm going to do is let me go to the bluetooth client and you'll be able to see there's a block called bluetooth client one dot is connected so let's bring in this block what this will do is it will check whether the bluetooth client is connected so if it is connected what we will do we are going to show it in the label so let's go to label 2 where we are going to show the status and we will set the label to dot text to i'm going to go to the text and i'm going to bring a string like this over here i'm going to put status and connected next let me go over here and click on the settings in this if condition so that we can add an else now let me bring in the else condition inside this and now over here in the else what we are going to do is let me just duplicate this label to dot text to and this time we are going to show disconnected because the bluetooth is not connected that's why it will go inside the else condition so now i'm going to put here disconnected next we have one more pending item so when the user clicks on this button disconnect button we need to disconnect from the bluetooth client and we should also show the status as disconnected over here so what we will do now is let's go over here to button one so when button one dot click button one is this button disconnect button so when the disconnect button is clicked let's go over here to the bluetooth client and we are going to bring in this block call bluetooth client one dot disconnect now after it is disconnected we, we are going to show the status to be disconnected like this so here you can see the bluetooth app now i'm going to click on choose bluetooth device so before you do this make sure that the bluetooth is switched on over here now i'll click on choose bluetooth device and i'm going to choose this one now you can see that the status is connected now i'll click on disconnect and you can see that the status is disconnected so first i got an error like error 507 but after looking at the solutions different solutions i fixed it and now it's the bluetooth is working so if you get something like this make sure you check the mit app inventor community where there are different solutions so that you can solve the issue also the common problem always is you haven't paired the device which you are going to connect so make sure you pair the device so that you'll be able to connect it also if you are if it is still not working instead of using the mit ai to companion you can also try building the app into an apk and installing it so if you are if you have a problem you can check this link i'm going to give it in the description below next do you want to create a chat app using the mighty app inventor make sure to watch this video and also watch my full course of mighty app inventor over here